What's up guys Tanmay here for Simple Snippets and this is the 5th video tutorial on C++ programming. In this video tutorial, we'll be discussing about the concept of control structures in C++ programs. So in the previous video tutorial, we saw the concept of variables and operators and how operators can be used to perform different operations with variables. So if you have missed that video, you can check it out. So let's start today's tutorial. So what are control structures in C++? Let me give you an example to show how the program flow is when a program is executing. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, on the left side, I have a simple program which I have written and you can see the basic structure of the C++ program. So the first two lines are the preprocessor directives and here you can see the main function is starting. So what happens is whenever your program executes, basically it executes in a linear and sequential fashion. By this, I mean the execution is always in a linear and sequential order. That is, it will first execute the first statement, then move to the second, and then move to the third, and so on. But what if you want your program to execute in a different fashion? That is, depending upon statement 1 and the input or output or whatever the function is happening at the statement 1, depending on this value, you want either statement 2 or statement 3 to be executed. So here is a condition over here, right? So not every statement is going to be executed depending on the condition of statement 1. So such functionality is provided by control structures. Another example would be what if you want statement 2 to be executed 10 times. So you'll have to write it down 10 times manually. So instead of this you can use control structures. So these are the two basic benefits of control structures. Now say for example you want to perform an addition operation of two variables and you are going to be using that for many times throughout the program. So instead of writing the addition operation again and again, you can create what is called as a function in C++ and then use it over and over again. So that will be more beneficial and efficient. So that is the benefit of control structures in C++. On the right side of the screen, you can see I have categorized these control structures in two different types. So the first two types are simple control structures and functions. Now under simple control structures, you have conditional structures and loops. So when you have a condition depending on which the further statement is to be decided or the further execution is to be decided, those type of structures are conditional structures and they include if, else if and else condition structure and switch case structure. So we'll be seeing these structures in the further tutorial. So this is just the theory part. Then we have loops. So as I mentioned, if you want to execute a statement n number of times, you don't really have to type it that many times. You can simply create a loop structure and give it a condition as to till when it is going to be executed and it will automatically execute that many times. So you don't have to actually type it out. So in loops, we have for loop, while loop and do while loop. So this was just a theoretical aspect of control structures. That's it for this video guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when you upload the next video. In the next video, we'll see the practical concept of conditional structures, that is the if-else structure. Peace!